Hi guys! I really missed making these videos. So today we're going to do a little haul from Ulta with different organic products. Recently I've started this path into more organic um, products and um, for hairstyling and for body care as well as uh, for facial treatments like uh, um, creams and stuff and I have found a really good brand for my face which is called Acure maybe I'll make a video of that too and I basically use their whole line of products and they're super organic and they very good for you and they actually work pretty well so today um, I went to Ulta and picked up some stuff <laughs> for hair care and for body care. So if you're interested, stay tuned, we'll go over each item, okay? I have to say, <laughs> it's been a while since I made these videos and um, I actually have colored my hair um, a few weeks back and now I have these low lights, as you might notice. So I have highlights, just as my re regular blonde, but I also have low light strands here and there and it makes it look more natural and they actually kept my darker hair, my actual natural hair, more inside so you will <laughs> you will see me go a little darker um, through the months because I'm trying to grow out my colors and then just maintain the, the a brighter blonde color more towards the ends, kind of like the balayage effect so I'm excited to see how that works out, just trying to be more um, over contrast blonde and um, more of a my color because I'm still blonde as you can see but it's just a little dark. So I ended up spending $75 during this trip so it's, it's, it's a good amount of money but um, I hope it's going to be worth it in the end and um, not that I don't like uh, regular products that I've been using but I have been a little bit more cautious about um, not using parabens and phthalates, phthalates, <laughs> sulfates and um, a whole bunch of other additives that I have found out are not very good for you. <laughs> so I'm sorry I'm smiling, I'm like this all the time. Okay, <laughs> the first thing we have is this Not Your Mother's Natural uh, dry shampoo because I use dry shampoos every other day. I try not to wash my hair every day. I do it every other day. Sometimes I even skip two days if I don't have to do anything. <laughs> I just kind of let it be greasy and just pick it up into a ponytail. But if I need it uh, to freshen it up, I would use um, a dry shampoo. Let's try it out. Um, so again, I found this actually company and you will see I have other things by them as well and um, They're sulfate parabens synthetic dyes and silicones free Which is something that I'm excited about It's quite a nice sound <laughs> So let's try it This is my second day, so I'm a little greasy a little bit, but not too bad Massage it in. Okay. It's still a little wet. Probably need to let it dry. So this one is unscented and it's for fine hair to enhance hair fiber. Tipe yoga and rice dry shampoo by not your mother's naturals. Pretty good so far. As long as it works. Okay, so that's the first thing. And I was excited about it not being uh, scented as well. Because I'm trying to um, get away from perfumes in different cosmetics and topical treatments. I still use a lot of perfumes. A lot. I have a collection and some of the newer ones that are my favorite. Let me know if you want to make if you want me to make a collection on that too. <laughs> okay. Okay. So since we're sticking with the same brand, so 
the next thing is the same brand, Not Your Mother's Natural, and it's a shampoo. It's a detox purify for healthier hair and scalp. And this one's matcha green tea and wild, wild apple blossom. So it looked good. And same thing again. 100% free of sulfates, silicones, gluten, parabens, dyes, and phthalates. phthalates. <laughs> Give it a smell. It smells very nice. It's clear. <laughs> so just to read you their statement, not your mother's naturals begins with nur nurturing hair care consciously made for you. Exotic natural blends and worry-free ingredients provide beautiful hair every day. So that's nice. So this shampoo removes um, surface buildup and excess oils without harsh chemicals and it enriches hair and scalp with antioxidants and nutrients for deep clean. So I haven't tried it yet but I'm excited. Okay, so the next thing is a conditioner. It's not a set. These three things are from different series but by the same brand. My chimes are going off. How wonderful. Can you hear them? So good. <laughs> so, uh, next thing is the conditioner for hair. And it's not the same, same brand. And same 100% free of sulfates and stuff. And um, this one's blue sea kale and pure coconut water. This one's weightless hydration and electrolyte minerals. Um, just because I've noticed a lot of times these rich conditioners weigh my hair down and my hair is quite fine and feathery so I do need something weightless so this one sounded pretty good <laughs> weightless hydration so this is going to be my conditioner now it smells like deep sea blue kale and coconut water Oh my goodness, that smells good. I almost don't see, don't smell much coconut. Mostly like um, a sea breeze kind of smell, very fresh. So I'm excited to try these out. And you probably will be seeing the difference in my hair, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully it will soften it up. Because of all the treatments, you know, sometimes your hair gets a little frizzy. And you can already tell that I'm kind of lacking um, natural shine at this point just because of how often I color it so gotta fix that girlfriend and the last thing for the hair <laughs> I got uh, this smoothing cream high moisture smoothing cream for dry hair deeply nourishes to nourish overworked I guess dry hair <laughs> and this one's coconut milk and African marula tree oil Again, same brand. Now this one smells like coconut. Pretty much pure coconut at this point. Um, I like it. I'm excited to try it. Usually I use these live-in conditioners or treatments. And again, I read the descriptions for them. And mm, I'll try this now. <laughs> um, so another thing. That I have found out is that these items, even though they're organic and from Ulta, they're actually are not that expensive. They're pretty much a regular price. So let's see the blue conditioner, blue sea conditioner. This one is eight ninety nine. That's not bad. That's pretty much a, a regular like CVS brand kind of level almost. Then this shampoo. Is eight ninety nine. So all of these were eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine. So again, I have to say that's not a bad price. So next, we go into the body products, and this one I have by C Booth. I hope that's the name. Simple, authentic, trusted. 
and it's honey almond nourishing bath and body wash. Same thing, paraben free, petroleum mineral oil free, transforms every shower into a sweet treat. Nourish skin with the conditioning power of honey and almond, rare in their ability to absorb impurities and rehydrate dry skin. Nutrient-rich leather is loaded with antioxidants for all over skin rejuvenation. I, I'm starting to read very well. Yeah, it basically smells like honey and almonds. <laughs> exactly what it smells like. And the consistency, I think it's white. I can't show you. It's like a creamy, creamy coloring. You can tell. So I'm excited to try that as well. And this body wash was five fifty-five, five bucks. Pretty good. And since I was in the same aisle, I got the body lotion by the same company, this C Booth. I'm hoping that's the name. <laughs> and this one is four in one coconut fig body lotion. Comes in this huge tub with this pump. and creamy on this lotion. Oh, very nice. It goes a long way. Mm. It smells quite nice. Somewhat a stronger scent because of coconut, I think. You can definitely um, smell a little bit of fig as well. Okay. So why is it four in one? It's get four benefits in one for sensational skin with the sweet scent of coconut fig that delights the senses. <laughs> Number one, it exfoliates. Malic acid removes dead and damaged skin cells to even out skin tone. That's pretty cool. Hydrate. Um, sweet almond, she butter oils, um, hydrate thirsty skin. Just a little too much <laughs> to read. Then nourish. Antioxidant vitamins and minerals fight harsh environmental forces. And then number four, caffeine wakes up the skin, helping to firm and rejuvenate. Does it actually have caffeine in it? And this lotion was $7.93, but it's quite a big bottle. It's 32 ounces or almost a liter, almost a liter of lotion. So that's pretty good. I'm gonna use that. So the next item is a sunscreen because I was looking for something with at least 50 ASPF. I don't mind 30, but I have noticed I still get to get a chance to burn when I wear 30 SPF. So 50 and higher is where I would like to start. And I don't tan. <laughs> I burn. That's about it. I just get red and that's it. There's no tan. There's no pretty like a um, sun-kissed glow. No, no. It's just like burn patches on me <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> so I use sun lotion. So I found this one. Um, it's the Botanical Sunscreen 50 Non-Greasy. And same thing. It has like a whole list of things that it does not have. See? It's like not tested and on animals, I mean, um, all these free of different things. Oh, it smells pretty good. It does not smell like regular lotions, which is another thing that I liked. And it goes on so smoothly. You know, like that silky, like velvety feeling that you get from some lotions. My gosh, it's like a a real find if you do find that. Oh, it smells very pretty. Doesn't see what the smell is, but it smells very flowery, no sunscreen smell at all. And I'm telling you, this feels like a velvet. It feels very, very good, very nice. It feels lightweight, not greasy. 
and it was pretty good coverage for the amount that I've applied. So I'm actually very excited about this. This one was $15.99. But if you have been shopping for SPF creams, you will know that it's not actually that much. Most of the creams come in even a smaller bottle. And again, they most of the time load it with things that are free of this one. And just the scent, there's no sunscreen in it. There's no smell of sunscreen, which is something I really like. So I'm, I'm super excited about this one. <laughs> and last thing I got is the SPF 30 lip balm. And it's a mineral color lip balm by Pacifica. And I've heard good things about Pacifica. They're pretty good. Um, yes, it's formulated without petroleum, paraben, silicones, retinol, palmitite, <laughs> phthalates, and chemical UV absorbers. Okay, and it's uh, in a color peach. Let's open it up. Nice packaging as well. I like their packaging, Pacifica. And this one's SPF 30. Comes a little shape. <laughs> nice and matte so it's not super slippery and this one says sun plus lip care SPF 30 everything that we've read already okay you get quite a lot I'll do it in my hand because I do have lipstick. It's just not going to show up on me right now. Maybe it will, I don't know. It's a pretty nice summery color. Again, peachy. And peachy is a good color for me usually. It's quite neutral on me. And this lip balm was $5. So while it's a little bit more expensive than usual chapsticks and stuff, you do get a SPF coverage. And um, again, it's like chemical free. So, it's pretty important. Okay, so that's that. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.